Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to a Graviteam Tactics operation. Well, actually, no. Let's let's rephrase that. Shield of the Prophet battle. We are, of course, playing as the Soviets, trying to take over Afghanistan from the dastardly uh, Iranians, as well as the Afghan uh, Mujahideen. So I'm actually going ahead, and I'm just setting my markers for this point because at this point we're just going to try to roll over these guys we brought some infantry here so that we can actually hold this area but we actually don't have much infantry in this particular map uh, most of the stuff that we actually have uh is tanks so our tanks i should say and i really hope that they can get a few kills here so let's get started and let's hope that this battle is just as telling as the last one in terms of actual victory and there we go the tanks are on the move boys all right, retreating vehicle lost already? What the hell? Oh, that guy's got to be shot for cowardice. That's ridiculous. He hasn't even done anything. So Kosarev is retreating. Thankfully, the rest of our tanks are moving forward. They're not afraid of the enemy. And look here, Shigwin. Look at that beautiful tank. Somebody also mentioned correctly this is not a T-34. Uh, I believe it's a T-50, maybe a T-70. You guys could probably tell me down below. And look at this. So this is one thing I love about the game. We've got relics from the previous battle over here. Um, of course, that was the enemy tank, the one enemy tank we destroyed. Most of the other stuff we destroyed were APCs. Uh, and hopefully we could take this area. Xerxes one in the valley without much of a fight. Uh, I'd rather not lose any more tanks. And uh, that would certainly make me feel a lot safer in this fight. Although, if I was to guess, there's going to be some Mujahideen fighters dug in in this area. Let's see if we have any more guys moving up. Yes, we do. Awesome. Take a look over here. Another relic from the battlefield. This tank actually is ours. One of our uh, actual heroes that died during the battle. Come on, boys. Still no enemy contacts. That's a little bit of a cause for concern. And once again, another burned out enemy tank over here. I'm going to take Isayev and go right to the valley. I'm um, guessing if they're not here at Xerxes 1, they're all going to be waiting at the valley for us. Uh, I'm not sure what's waiting for us, but certainly remnants of the brigade that we basically made retreat last time. So they're not going to be too happy. Let's grab Babachev. And there we go. Enemy contact. See where the enemy contact is located. Right there. Sure enough, what did I tell you guys? That there were going to be Mujahideen here? And sure enough, there are. We just knocked one out. And actually, look at this. That's an Iranian fighter. He's got an RPG. Just fired it at us. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Come on. You can do this, guys. Hit them with tracers. Don't let them get up. Keep on firing. Seminkin, I want you to defend. Defend. Actually, we'll just have him hunt. That's even better. This way he'll really scope out all enemy targets. And look at that. Is that an enemy APC? I believe it is. Can we set targets on that enemy APC? Better be able to set targets on it. Let's go ahead and fast move forward a bit. And I hope our guy can see it. it. Looks like right now he can't really see it. There we go. Open fire on it before it shoots us, guys. Come on. I oh, hope Semenkin is going to hit this thing. Let's do an assault. Boom! Nice shot. I believe Semenkin may have destroyed it, and indeed he did. Let's see if any enemies are actually going to escape out the back. No, I think that's going to be their fiery grave. Boom! Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Let's keep moving forward, though. We don't want to forget the task at hand, and that is to continue up the valley. So let's not be uh, uh, thrown aside, or let's not be, uh, you know, obviously, um, what's the word I'm looking for? God, I hate shooting videos sometimes. Um, take a look here. Okay, here we go. Opening fire again on more enemy targets, and we're just advancing. Um... But essentially what I'm saying is let's not get stuck on the middle of the battle here. This is just a bunch of infantry, a bunch of unnecessary infantry units. We need to get past these guys. Um, and actually it looks like our infantry is actually opening fire on the enemy. Uh, Babashev, I actually want him to stay, stay here and seek cover uh, because I don't want our infantry getting hit here. And it looks like we've got some Mujahideen over here on the right side and our infantry are engaging them. And look at that, right on top of a den of enemy troops. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's hope that our tank can just totally waste them maybe even get some prisoners here we're rolling right over these guys and we're gonna keep assaulting assault assault we can't move shigushin oh no we got stuck in one of their annoying trenches guys and shigushin may be finished uh we are opening fire here key point taken we took xerxes one beautiful we're still under fire i know this guys i know this 
but it's not going to stop us from continuing into the valley. The valley has got to have some Mujahideen waiting there for us, I'm almost certain. Uh, but we want to make sure that this place is totally secured first. Alright, look at all these enemies around, and we're opening fire on them with a machine gun. That's crazy. Look at this guy right here with the MG, uh, just aiming for the enemy troops. Oh, here we go. We're getting out. Our men have had to bail out. I don't know how they're going to do against the enemy here, or if they're even going to choose to fight. Come on, boys. Oh, we got some shots coming in. It looks like the Mujahideen are trying to take our men prisoner, possibly, but they're also taking cover. So they're not exactly very confident themselves. Let's go ahead and see if we have any tanks back here. We do. We've got Babachev, uh, as well as, sure enough, an APC. And I'm going to have this APC target these units right here. I'm not going to let them take our boys prisoner. If our boys have to die for the motherland, then so be it. There we go. But they did do a great job there. The Mujahideen did. Um, thankfully, we've managed to waste most of the enemy here. There's still a few over here. And let's see how this tank is doing. We keep getting stuck in their trenches, and that's not good. Uh, I'm going to see if we can fast move out of here. But we may be stuck. Another tank stuck. As long as we keep moving, we should be fine. It looks like Semenkin is trying to still get some kills, and we're almost at the valley. And what's Gomcharov doing? Come on, Gomcharov. Get with the program, man. Trying to take everything the enemy has here. Alright, have we gotten out of here? I don't think we have. At least we can uh, remain steadfast in the notion that we have utterly annihilated a good portion here of these enemies. And we have an APC here that's also assisting us uh, in killing these guys. Let's go ahead and just target them all. And here's that APC. Let's move him up a bit. In fact, I'll have him assault this area. Come on, infantry. Infantry and APC, move up. We are Soviets. We will win this battle. A lot of incoming fire on that area. All right, enemy contact. Prisoners captured. There we go. Sure enough, guys, the enemy gave up to us. So that enemy that was trying to kill our tank crew, they have laid down their arms. And sadly, one of the prisoners did not manage to surrender. He got hit before he could put his hands up. But we've got some prisoners over here. And I don't even know if they can possibly escape this area. Uh, they're walking back towards, well, actually, towards our tanks. Uh, there's a lot of bullets sort of cutting through them. More prisoners captured. Wow, guys, look at this. That is beautiful. A ton of enemy Mujahideen troops that we're going to be able to interrogate later. Um, that's definitely helpful, but we want to keep moving forward, and we want to take the valley. Move towards the valley, boys. I might even recommend a ceasefire with the enemy pretty soon here. Okay, I actually don't want these enemies to be killed. I'd rather take them prisoner. But then again, I'm still very worried about Verbeck and his tank. Has he managed to get out? He has. Okay, is that the tanker that was stuck? I think it was. So Verbeck did get out. Very good news. And of course, more prisoners ahead of us. We don't even have to pay attention to them. Just ignore these guys and continue toward the uh, designated target. Still a lot of gunfire going on, though. I mean, there's still a lot of enemy that are unwilling to give up. They want to fight to the end. And we want to stop that. That method of thinking. Let's move these guys up here. Wow, I don't think I've ever taken this many prisoners in one fight. Vehicle lost. Oh boy, I knew it. The enemy was going to have guys here, and sure enough, they did. Some sort of anti-tank uh, unit over here. Now, don't worry, we have a lot of anti-tank brigade, or I should say tank brigades, but every tank we lose in this war is is one, you know, one major victory for the enemy. Um, this is really our main attack force is going to be our tanks. So we're going to keep moving. Come on, boys. And there we go. Verbeck is still firing back at these units. I hope he's not shooting at the prisoners, but nope, he's not. Look at that line of Mujahideen. Beautiful. I can't stop admiring that. That's right. You're going to give up because glorious Mother Russia is better than you. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward here to Xerxes 1. And more enemy contact. Let's see where this enemy contact's coming from. Right from the actual woods over here. And I'm more worried about that uh, that AT gun. That's what I think that is. Over here. All the way over here, actually. But we're going to get closer. Don't worry, guys. Should have three tanks approaching. There we go. So three tanks are still making it through. And obviously, each time we move these tanks in a battle, we are actually using up a lot of fuel. So we have to keep that in mind. There we go. Opening fire on that position. I'm almost sure that's an AT gun. Or at least some sort of ATGM. Um, so I hope we can hit that. 
Yup, sure enough. Actually, it might be a mortar or an ATGM. Let's see. It definitely just opened fire on us. And we are trying to return fire, of course. Come on, boys. Boom! That was a nice little hit there. And maybe we can get a closer look at what kind of equipment that was. Oh, yeah, definitely a mortar. So we know the enemy has mortars here. I don't know how that took out a tank, so I'm sure that they also have some guys with RPGs. We have to be very careful, and I'm actually just going to set the hunt option. Same with uh, Gonshotov here, hunt option. We know that they're going to have uh, some guys in the woods. There we go, open fire, boys. Let's see how the center of the battle is looking. Looking pretty good. Things have obviously calmed down. The enemy <clears throat> in the center has utterly been annihilated and given up. Uh, those that haven't been shot have given up, of course. Not sure what they're, what's going to happen to these prisoners. In fact, if anybody wants to do some uh, historical research, what happened to Mujahideen prisoners of the Soviets? I'm guessing not very good things, especially if the uh, Spetsnaz was the one capturing them. Uh, but here we go. We're continuing forward. Gonchadov. I don't like that he's aiming this way. I might actually try to rotate him a bit. There we go. Enemy troops. One just got hit. Right there, trying to escape. And that's actually an Iranian soldier. He had an RPG. He may very well have been the killer of our unit. But here we go. Oh my goodness. We've got Iranian soldiers right ahead of us. Alright, well, only one thing to, left to do here, and that's going to be to assault the valley. And apparently we've got a lot of gunfire coming over here. And this may be Semenkin trying to kill even more enemy troops. I'll feel very happy once we take the valley. At that point, um, I can ask for a ceasefire. And I'm fairly sure the enemy will accept. There we go. Enemy trenches. That's a problem. Uh, but we're going to try to get past them. It looks like these enemies are not really, not really ready for a battle. And, oh, look at this. What is going on here? We've got some sort of enemy vehicle here. I can't tell what it is. Hopefully, uh, our tank's going to find them pretty soon. There we go. Set targets. How can he shoot it? There we go. Nice. That was the closest shot ever. He literally fired his turret right through this thing. That's unbelievable. Um, enemy retreats. That's beautiful, guys. And it looks like the battle is about to end thanks to the enemy retreat there. I mean, we're doing pretty damn good, I must say. Not too shabby. Ton of uh, prisoners, obviously. Just got a beautiful hit on these units as well. Uh, and we've just utterly destroyed the enemy in this battle this has to be a victory and probably an amazing victory at that um, and even more units here retreating it looks like our men are still firing their machine guns i'm sure some of the prisoners have gone down um, so there we go let's see we only lost four the enemy lost 53 14 prisoners that is a great day for the soviet union uh, we did however lose uh, one vehicle here three of them being tanks that's bad uh, and it was actually a draw, I think, because of the endless kills uh, that the enemy had on our tanks. But damn, did we do good. And this is definitely going to hurt the enemy in the long run. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. Um, and if you did, make sure to support and like down below. It always helps us to get more views, obviously. And uh, notice that I put this battle up a lot faster than usual. That's because you guys gave me so many great views on the last part of this uh, series. So keep it up, guys. Thank you again. Take care. And have an awesome, awesome day.